So for those of you who think that the rate cuts is going to be a bullish signal for the real estate market, I would like you to watch this video. To be going from bad to worse in Canada's troubled housing industry. New figures out tonight show last month was the slowest month for house construction in 13 years. The CBC's Neil MacDonald now on the slump that just won't end. It would be hard to imagine better conditions for buying a home. Prices in most parts of Canada have been falling steadily since the late 1980s. There are plenty of homes from which to choose and mortgages are cheap. Uh, feeling hopeful. So what does the spokesman for Canada's home builders have to say about the year that just ended? It was the lowest level of activity since the Second World War. We're now going into 1996 and we have no reason to believe that it will be any better in 1996. So we're very, very firmly in recession. In fact, January was the worst month in 13 years. Across Canada, there were tremendous drops from a year ago. Housing starts in Manitoba, for instance, dropped 75%. Quebec, 62%. British Columbia was down 53%. And even in Ontario, where the industry had its greatest hopes for a revival, home building decreased 5%. Why? Why such gloom, even with interest rates as low as they are? So that you can bring interest rates down as low as you want, but at a particular point in time, unless people feel confident about their employment, they're not about to uh, purchase what is known as a big ticket item. This government has been jerking us around. And nowadays, confidence is scarce. Look for example, at public servants. Government is the biggest employer in Canada. And government right now is on a starvation diet. Ontario public servants, faced with losing one job in four, are contemplating a strike. These people are not thinking about buying a home. It's almost like a guaranteed job. You think, hey, this is great. The next thing you know, you're going on strike. Uh, no pay or whatever, and baby on the way. Like First time baby, and I'm real scared. <laughs> Now you have seen that the last time we had the biggest housing crash in the country was in 1990s. And in that period, the housing construction fell off the cliff. In some areas, it was actually down by 70 plus percent, like in Manitoba. And even though they had the lowest rate as they can, the housing was not simply moving. The reason was we were in recession. When you are in recession, People are worried about their jobs, okay? They don't have enough to put the food on the table. You heard this guy who was working in that factory, he was worried about his incoming baby. Like he was so worried that you know, there's so many strikes going on because you are not sure whether you're going to work tomorrow. So when you have a situation where the consumer confidence right at the bottom, they don't know whether they will be able to work tomorrow because it's so much uncertainty they don't think about buying a million dollar property, okay? So the rate cuts is going to happen at some point and they will only happen when the stuff is going to hit the fan, when the Bank of Canada will see, yes, this is the time we are now going into recession or perhaps we are already in recession, then they will cut the rates, then they will try to stimulate the economy, but that by then it will be too late then the consumer confidence will be at the bottom. You will be seeing joblessness across the board. And in that scenario, nobody in the right mind will be able to purchase a million dollar property. So whoever is giving you this narrative, they haven't seen recession in their life. They haven't lived through a recession period. In 2008, we saw recession in the US. It didn't affect Canada. So the Canadians who have lived through 2008 period, they haven't seen anything, okay? Ask them who have lived through 1990s recession. They will tell you how painful it was. And in that situation, nobody's going to purchase a million dollar property. So think about that, don't go crazy, and pick all of these news with a pinch of salt. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. Put your comments down below and I'll see you in my next video.